everybody. Today we're going to do part two of our math read aloud for The Doorbell Rang by Pat Hutchins. If you've not yet listened to part one where we read the story, you might want to go and watch that video first. In this video, we are going to do some math activities inspired by this story. To do this activity, you're going to need 12 cookies. Now, you might have 12 actual cookies. These are actually pretend cookies. Look, they're rubber. <laughs> so you could have 12 cookies, or you might have cookies that you ran. I ran a copy of a picture of cookies on brown paper and then cut them out. You might could just even have 12 cookies that you cut out of just regular brown paper or construction paper to make some cookies so they don't have to be decorated. Or if you don't have those at your house, you might have some cereal that you could use as cookies. So I'm gonna, I could act these out with cereal. You're also going to, you could use paper plates so that you could show your cookies on your paper plates. So if you have enough paper plates at your house, you would need 12 paper plates. If you don't have paper plates, that's okay because you can also just draw a picture of plates on some blank paper and have your plates drawn like this and draw plates as we go, okay? So it's your choice. Now, the story that we read was The Doorbell Rang. So my title is The Doorbell Rang. And what I did was I folded my paper in half and then I folded it in half again. So this is actually a horizontal fold. You see that my paper is being folded horizontally. And then I'm going to unfold it so that my folds go up and down vertically. And I have total cookies for one section. Aren't you glad I am not an artist? That was supposed to be a cookie. Does that look like a cookie? <laughs> and shared by blank children, that's gonna be the number that we put here. So when our story began, there were 12 cookies being shared by two children. And you can either draw your picture, if you're in second grade or younger, you can draw a picture of 12 cookies being shared by two children. Or if you're a third grader or older, you can write it as a division sentence. So you can either draw a picture or have your division sentence. So we're gonna show 12 cookies being shared by two people. So I'm gonna act that out using my plates and my cookies. And if you have your plates and your cookies, you can act it out too. So one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. We both get one, we both get two, and we both get one more. So I used all of my 12 cookies, and you can see that on my plates, there's six on this plate and six on this plate. Now, if you don't have a plate full of cookies, like I said earlier, you could draw plates on a piece of paper and act this out with your cereal cookies. So I'm gonna give one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe I should have drawn bigger plates. 10, 11, 12. And you can see that my two plates have six cookies each. So if there were two children sharing 12 cookies, they would each get six. And you could draw that picture by drawing your plates and putting six cookies on each plate. Or you could write that as a division sentence. 12 cookies divided by two people would give six cookies each. So you can show those numbers using a division sentence. In the next part of our story, two more people showed up. So there were four people altogether. We still had 12 cookies. 
So if you're using plates, you would need to have four plates set out and divide your cookies amongst the four plates. Or if you're drawing a picture, you could draw a picture, keep your same picture with your two plates that you had before and add two more plates. So now I need to share my 12 cookies with four people. Do you know how many cookies that's going to be on each plate? Let's see. So I'm dividing them out. Everybody gets an equal share. Did you say three cookies on each plate? Oh my gosh, if you did, you are so clever. So that's going to be three cookies on each plate. And I could draw that picture with four plates and three cookies on each plate. And this division sentence would be 12 cookies shared by four children is three cookies for each child. Everybody gets three. And then in the next part of the story, two more children came. So now there were six children. They still had 12 cookies. I'm going to let you figure out what that's going to look like. You could draw two more plates and figure out how your 12 cookies will be divided among the six plates. If you're using plates and cookies, you're going to need six plates. And how are you going to share those 12 cookies? And I'm going to let you finish your table. What number would go here? What would that picture look like? And that number sentence. So what we're asking is 12 put into six equal groups is going to be how many for each person? So I'm not going to give you the answer to that. I'm going to let you figure that one out. And then finally, toward the end of the story, six people showed up. So there were 12 children in the house and they had 12 cookies still. So if I have 12 children, and 12 cookies. I wonder if you remember that picture on that page of the story, what that looked like. How many cookies is going to go on each plate? You're going to have to divide your cookies out evenly so that everybody gets the same amount with all of your cookies being divided out. So how many cookies would each person get? And what would that picture look like? And what would that number sentence be? So those were the last two problems in the doorbell ring. Now, if you are wanting to practice your division, you could make up more problems like this. So I did a page called Sharing Cookies, and I have some stories for you that you can act out that are inspired by the book, but they did not come from the book. So how would you act out there are 14 cookies and two children? So if you're using your cereal cookies as your objects, or if you're using paper cookies as your objects, you're going to need 14 cookies and you're going to need two plates to share those 14 cookies. And our division sentence would be 14 put into two equal groups equals what? You're looking for that answer. So could you model that using your cookies? You might even could still use your paper plates if you have paper plates from the story before. For this story, you would need two plates because there's two children. Okay, if you can do that one, Maybe you can do this one. There are 15 cookies and five children. So if there's five kids sitting at the table to eat, you would need to draw five plates so that everybody has a plate for their cookies. 
how is 15 cookies going to be shared by five children? So you can draw a picture of what that looks like and then you can write your division sentence. 15 shared by five people is going to be how many on each plate? I've got a few more for you that you can try at home. There are 20 cookies and four children. If you'd like to pause the video while you figure that one out, you're welcome to pause the video. This one says there are 24 cookies and three children. You can draw your picture or act it out with your paper plates and your cookies. You're welcome to pause the video while you find that answer. There are 21 cookies and seven children. You're welcome to act that out and find that answer. Now, these problems that I did for you would have no cookies left over. I on purpose chose numbers so that you would not have any cookies remaining because we don't do remainders until we get to fourth grade. However, for this last one, this last page that I'm going to show you, you are welcome to make up your own cookie math problem and decide there are how many cookies. You could decide that yourself. You could write the problem yourself and decide how many children to divide the cookies between. So you decide how many cookies you want. You decide how many children there are, just like we did for these problems. And then you'll have to figure out how many cookies would each child get. So you might have to act it out with your cookies that you made that you cut out of paper, or you could act it out with your cookie cereal if you have cereal that you're using for your cookies and then you can write your math sentence. So this is an easy way for you to practice your division. Because you're making the number up, it might be that you don't use all the cookies and you have some cookies that were left over. And if that's the case, if you have cookies left over, then you can just eat them. Yum, 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 yum. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Have a great day.